What's up, y'all? Welcome back to a video with your boy Dion, man. In this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all something that I really don't get into a lot, but it's really interesting. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, we're talking about money, baby. But yeah, in today's video, what I'm gonna be telling you guys about is how I was able to make $8,000 in one single month while being a D1, Division One athlete while we were in season. Like, that's crazy. Like, I was able to do it while we we're while being a D1 athlete already and also while we were already in season, guys. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. I'm gonna tell you the whole story of how it went down and how you guys could do it too because I know you guys are probably interested in how you guys could also do it because you guys wouldn't be watching this then. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into this, Joan. Let me start off by saying I am a hardworking individual. So, I mean, this did not come easy at all. And I actually put in a lot of time and effort to make all these things happen in my life. Obviously, all through the blessings of God. And, you know, without him, I wouldn't be able to do these kind of things. But, you know... You also you have to be hardworking and you got to be dedicated to what you want to do, man. And like when you set your mind, your goal in your head, you just got to be at, get after it. That's pretty much what it is. But um, so how it all started off was, it was becoming to a point where we were about to get to summertime, right? And you know, at the end of the season, I took we had a spring season this year, so like at the end of the spring semester, that's when we get into summer. So in my head, I was like, man, it's about to be summer. You know, I'm gonna have a lot more free time, no classes, so I gotta find a summer job. And re usually the summers before, I would be doing DoorDash, you know, I was like a DoorDash bull. Like I, I did a lot of orders, like a thousand deliveries in DoorDash, which is pretty good. Like, I mean, I probably, it probably equated to like $10,000 or something like that. I don't know, like $10 average on orders. And like, that was a good little side hustle for me up to this point. I really enjoyed DoorDash cause it was simple. I can jump on the schedule whenever I wanted to and just, you know, get some work done and, you know, do as many as I wanted. But uh, this this summer, I decided that I wanted to take my my uh, finances to another level. You know what I'm trying to say? Like I wanted to make more money. I didn't want to make that hundred dollars a day or you know fifty dollars a day, depending on how much I did with DoorDash. I was trying to make that big money. Big money. Mm-hmm. So what I decided to do was I seen this little ad on Instagram. It was for landscaping and cutting lawn and whatnot for Handy. I don't know if you guys heard of it. Handy is like a little app where you can get subcontracting jobs and, you know, just do some subcontracting jobs like cleaning houses, power washing, lawn cutting, little handyman jobs like uh, fixing somebody's doors, fixing somebody's sink or something like that. People go on there, home advisor, Angie's List, and they post little jobs that they want people to come out and do. And then all you have to do is go on the app and accept it. And there you go. You got a whole job. So for me, I like pretty much like like filtered out all the rest of the jobs except for landscaping because I wanted to be a landscaper this summer and just like, you know, cut grass for the summer because I heard it can make some money. So I was like, bet. And it's something I can do. I've been knowing how to do this for a while. So I was like, let me put some time and effort into this and maybe I can make some money. Not knowing that I was gonna make this much money out of it, obviously. But so what I would do is I would just pretty much fill out my whole schedule like for before football, after football, and every free time I could get, pretty much. It was a lot of work, but I mean, it wasn't really that much work, because you gotta think, when you're doing landscaping and cutting grass, you're not really doing the work. What's really doing the work is the machine that you got. So at first, I only had a little push behind mower, and it was doing its job, but I mean, like it just took me a little bit longer with the bigger yards. But it was still making me good money, and at that time, I was making maybe, what? Like forty dollars an hour because they will give you jobs for like a two hour window span and they will pay you forty dollars for that so they pretty much try to pay you twenty dollars an hour but the jobs would only take you about 30 minutes to an hour if that maybe less so i was making like forty dollars an hour on each job which was amazing for me so i was like oh this is a great little side hustle for me to do while being in football and it wasn't killing me too bad like i was fine like i wasn't wasting all my energy trying to cut the grass so after this happened I started getting a little money because I was doing it consistently, bang, 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 every day. Football, go to football, go to cut some grass, you know, go to my classes and whatnot. And I was doing well. So, I mean, $40,000, you got to do the math. If I'm doing three to four jobs a day, then it was it was adding up, you know, stacking up. Because I, I only needed but so much money for me being a college student and living on my own and whatnot. So, I had a lot of excess money. So, then I started upgrading to, like, better machines. 
and like a sit down, a push behind, you know, to make the job go even faster, which was just perfect because it made the job even easier than it already was. Because landscaping, I'm telling you, if you're just cutting grass or you're like trimming some hedges, it's so easy. It's not hard at all. I mean, probably a monkey could probably do it. Or I don't know. It's, it's really easy. So that's the whole point. And um, I, I got bigger machines and it just made everything go so much faster. Like my job got 10 times easier and it was just so easy. And uh, at that point, I started taking bigger jobs. So then instead of me getting $40 an hour, I started getting more closer to 60, 60 to 65 because I was taking big jobs that are worth like $120, $120 or something like that, or $100. And I was finishing them in 30 minutes because I had a big ride on at this point. And um, this was like really, really, really good because at this point I was like, dang, this is really making a lot of money. And at the time, I, I actually didn't really notice that how much my money was actually stacking up because I was just taking jobs back to back to back to back. And then in the same month, my season had ended because we lost in the semifinals, which kind of sucked and I was disappointed, but it just gave me more time so I can actually get after my work. So then at that point, I was working all the time, you know, all the time, all the time, all the time, day, back to back to back, just doing jobs all day. And I didn't even realize how much the money was stacking up pretty much. So at the end of the month, I ended up actually making $8,000, which was just insane for me. I was like, what the heck? Like $8,000? I mean, I made good money before. I mean, I have different type of businesses that I don't want to go into right now. And I made good, some, good amounts of money on those. But like just for me to make money off of something I just had started like that month and make $8,000 right away it was just mind blowing. I mean, take for granted that it was like the peak season for landscapers and like right when, cause it was at the beginning of this, like middle of like May, uh, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was middle of May when I started. And um, that's like peak season for landscapers and you know, all type of landscapers usually make a, a bunch of money during that time. So, I mean, that could be the reason why I made that much money, but it couldn't, I don't know. but. All that I know is it was great money and I was enjoying it. It wasn't too hard. And it was just it was it was hard work. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I was I was taking some long days, but it was worth it at the end of the day when I was bringing home two hundred dollars, two hundred fifty dollars a day or three hundred dollars. Like I enjoyed it because like I mean I was making good money. You know? And I mean I'm still doing it right now, you know, I got my little hat. This is about my hat for work, you know, landscaping. Smooth John. I like this John Adidas if y'all can see that. But um yeah, so that's pretty much the story, but it was a great little side hustle. I mean, if I will have to recommend you guys to do it, definitely you guys should start off on Handy because Handy is a great way, it's like a gateway into getting into it. I mean, even if you don't want to do landscaping, there's a lot of other like handyman tasks that you can go on there and you can find, and it just it makes great money because they pay you good money. At least at the lowest, they pay you $20 an hour. And for other jobs, like not landscaping, they usually pay you a lot more because the simple fact that you're doing more work. I mean, people know that landscaping isn't like the hardest thing to do. I mean, you get a, a lawnmower, you get a weed whacker, a leaf blower, and you're pretty much set. At the beginning, when I started actually, I actually only just did it right out the back of my Jeep. I just put a uh, um, behind mower, I folded it up in my Jeep, and I got the weed whack whacker in the back of my Jeep with a, a leaf blower, a small $40 one, and it was making me a lot more money. So my return on investment wasn't crazy, it was crazy. But um, yeah, but like, there's other jobs on there and it's pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't suggest always staying on there because they do take a cut of your pay. I mean, you don't get to actually see what they take because they just pretty much show you what you're going to make and that's that's all it is. And um, yeah, so that was my story on how I was able to do it. And it was crazy because at the time when I was actually doing all this, like we were in a full blown season, like we were in playoffs. Cause at that time when when I finally like got on this app and started doing that, we actually just had entered into playoffs. Like it was crazy. I was taking my time away from football during playoffs to go landscape. I mean, I don't know, if, like I mean, some of my uh, teammates knew, but like not no none of my coaches knew. I was just doing it so I can make some extra cash, you know. And I was expecting, cause I mean, first of all, I was expecting that we was we was gonna win the championship, so I wasn't really worried about that. But I was just I just needed some extra money in my pocket, so I mean, this was it. And if like you guys are out there and you guys want to make a little extra money in the summertime, I would definitely recommend that you guys go out and do some landscaping because landscaping could be a really beneficial thing and it can make you a lot of money. And it's really simple. Like a lot of people can easily do this without having put in like that much effort, like stupid fly. But um, yeah, you can, a lot of people can do this without putting in that much effort. And it's a simple thing. Like you just go out, customize grass, we whack and um, 
they're pretty much set. You make some good bread. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much gonna be the whole thing. I mean, it wasn't like the craziest story, but I just wanted to let you guys know that you can make money from landscaping and pretty much just putting your head down and just getting work done. And like, from all my athletes out there that just think that you only have one path that you can take in life, there's other paths out there, man. I'm gonna explain that more in some of my other videos to give you guys a little bit of motivation so you guys know that there's other paths. Like, if you don't, say say you were trying to go D1, you don't go Division One. there's other paths, bro. Like, dude, there's other things you can do. You can start a business, you can do this, you can do that. And I'm just gonna get into that with you guys. I mean, I know I'm a D1 athlete and I was able to achieve the dream that I wanted to do, but sometimes it doesn't work out like that for in your life. And like, you just gotta find something that you really like to do or something that makes you money for the time being so you can get to the point where you wanna become what you wanted to become. So this is just my little story, my little testimony. I mean, cause obviously I couldn't have done this without God, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And um, man, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think about this. Cause I can tell you guys more about how you guys can make money off of doing side hustles. Cause I do a lot of side hustles to make money because I mean, it's the easiest thing for me as a college athlete because a lot of my time is devoted towards to football because you know football and a D1 athlete takes a lot of your time out of your day. So you gotta find something where you can pretty much be your own boss and pretty much control the time when you're gonna be working. So yeah, but don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will keep dropping gems like this for you guys and help you guys get to the point in your life where you guys are gonna be enjoying your life, whether that be a D1 athlete, whether that be starting a business, I will really help you guys out. So just, you know, show your boy some love, leave a like, leave a comment on what you guys think about this video and uh, definitely subscribe to your boy because, you know, I'm trying to grow and I'm trying to, you know, start monetizing my stuff because now the NIL rule has been changed and now athletes can make money off their name, likeness and image. So I'm just trying to get to that point where I can start monetizing my YouTube because I'm dropping gems for you guys all the time. And it'll just be a great thing for me to start getting paid off of this stuff. But um, thank you. Have a nice day, y'all. Stay blessed.